smoking kush in my condo. Bitch, I'm ballin' hard. Gino, retro sixes, new shoe laces. Pat KLD, throwin' ones and stripper spaces. Yeah, that's all right, just got me feeling good. You are stuntin', ooh, boy, I know you wish you could. Cash money, cash money, young money. I got retarded paper, I'm talking dumb money. Tad it up, it's an Ohio thing. Titty boy, but I'm rocking two chains. Pull it up, go ahead and roll it up. Walking out the club, drunk as fuck. Hey, stay hard, yeah, we rap YouTube, what's good, what's good? It's your man Cloudy Poker Chips back at you with another look at a fresh pair of kicks. Uh, today I'm bringing you guys another Jordan brand retro. Uh, today it's the Jordan 13 in the black red colorway uh, breads, black cats, playoffs whatever you guys want to call them um, that's what it is so without further ado let's jump right into it um, for me this was a must pick up this is my first pair of Jordan 13's in the bread colorway. I've only got one other pair of 13's and that's the He Got Game 13's that came in the CDP pack and those are beat up pretty good. Um, this shoe in my opinion came out really nice. Um, I really like this suede area. Um, it's very easy to wear like any other black and red shoe so um, that goes a long way Jordans are typically um, in a black and red colorway and they're pretty easy to wear with whatever there's some funky colors out there but uh, most of the OG colorways are um, in, in a you know an easy round this particular pair I did get from Nike.com um, kind of a funny story, I woke up, um, I set my alarm to get up, but I set it accidentally for, I'm on the east coast, so I set it for um, 8.59 or 8.50 or something like that instead of 7.50, because I usually get up 10 minutes before and just get ready. So for some reason I woke up, I looked at the clock and it was like 7.58, I jumped up, turned on Twitter. And, uh, I mean, it was literally a matter of seconds. Um, so, that's kind of my story on these. I did come through with an additional pair from a hookup that I have um, from one of my buddies that owns a sneaker shop. I do get uh, most new releases from him as well. So, I did double up on these. Haven't got the other pair yet. I know most of you guys have already had these. Um, I have these. I've had these for a couple of days. I've just been kind of busy, so I didn't throw a video up yet. Most everyone's seen these. Uh, you can check out, you know, this shoe anywhere on YouTube and get a pretty good in-depth review, um, especially on feet reviews. Um, the bottom, I think, on these are super clean. I love, love, love the Panther bottom, the Panther claw, the suede on here is really nice. You got the uh, Panther eyeball hologram, which is cool. Got the black tongue. The tongue on these are really nice and plush. Um, my He Got Games are, I think, about the same. Um, my tongue is, I mean, the whole shoe. Uh, if you guys don't know, the He Got Game is the white and red pair. White, red, and black. And mine are just disgusting. I wore those shoes so much. Um, but you have the Jordan logo tag here on the top of the heel. You got the really nice um, tumbled leather. The Jordan logo on the tongue. You got this material up here. It's not 3M. It does have some reflective material. But if uh, you look at it at a certain angle, if light hits it, it does kind of give the effect of 3M. Why they couldn't throw 3M on this shoe, I don't know. Um, I know they're coming out with a Jordan 1 that's pretty much entirely 3M. 
which won't sell, so they should have just used that material for these and saved some money. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is the Jordan 13 playoff breads. Really happy with my pair. Cannot wait to rock these. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever had my hands on this colorway. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, let, me, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys copped them. If you missed out on them. A lot of spots didn't get as many as planned. Um, I think this is what they call a general limited release, if that makes sense. Um, cause a lot of spots only got a certain amount of pairs. Um, a regular general release like the um, 11s, like the Brett 11s, there was speculation and rumor there was 500,000 pairs made. You know, I don't doubt that. Um, I don't know for sure, cause I've not, you know, I don't know anybody that works for Nike. I don't have any kind of, you know, internal hookup. I just go all people say. But from what I've seen, there was a lot of those pairs floating around. So Nike definitely made plenty of bread 11s to go around um, because I think they knew that the you know, the demand for those was humongous and they could sell out all 500,000 pairs in you know less than an hour, which is pretty impressive. Uh, not too many people can say they sold a product of that mass quantity in such a small time. I mean, it's it's a it's mind-boggling um, what they what they've been able to achieve with the hype and the um, just the overall "I got you by the balls" type of attitude Nike's kind of come to have. I don't like the fact that sometimes I feel like it's kind of a a privilege to even buy the shoe. I think they're taking my money, my hard-earned money, so like anybody else, I think they should be um, on that same level. But we've kind of done it to ourselves, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm right there with you guys, right in the middle of it, so I can't blame anyone but myself. But enough ranting and raving about the bullshit. Um, love the shoe. No matter how much we bitch, we're still going to buy the shoes. They're so nostalgic. I love Jordan Brand. Uh, growing up, I mean, you watched him play on these shoes. You know, you didn't have all these shoes. Well, I didn't anyway. I only had a few pair of J's growing up. And I always saw kids wearing them. And that's the ones that I kind of want to go back and get. The ones that I just couldn't grasp. But, you know, you also want the ones you did have too. And uh, these are actually a pair... That came out when I was a little bit older. I was an older, I think I was a teenager when these came out. And I kind of got out of Jordans in my late teens. And I kind of just went to like, um, you know, regular Nike basketball shoes. Pretty much after like the, I think the 12s. I'm going to say maybe the 11s. I kind of quit like them. I actually, um, I remember going to the Foot Locker finish line, wherever it was, and trying on a pair of retro 11s actually it was the OG 11s I'm sorry um, it was the um, Concords I remember trying them on and just remember saying you know I don't I'm not really feeling these and <laughs> I didn't buy them it's just one of those things that you do and I can't remember I think I might have bought some some Gary Payton's or some other I don't remember what I bought to be honest with you but I do remember that and that just goes to show you how kind of things come full circle. But, you know, you do some things you regret, especially with kicks. I've had a lot of kicks on my hands throughout the years. I wish I would have uh, copped. You know, some instances I couldn't have copped. Like when I was in college, you know, I couldn't go out and spend 200 bucks every week for a pair of shoes. Um, I was struggling just to eat. And, um, you know, some things you just got to kind of put uh, on the back burner. You gotta prioritize and do what you gotta do. But anyway, Jordan 13, Breads, awesome shoe, beautiful shoe. Uh, my pair is very well made, quality. I give it a eight and a half. There's a little bit of glue on these. 
Oh, let's see where's that glue. There's some glue on the back here, on the bottom, and some glue right here. But I don't think that's uh, avoidable just because of the material. It's kind of hard to get that material to kind of match up. But yeah, great shoe. We're so happy I was able to cop. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Please check out my other videos. And keep a lock to my channel. I got new stuff coming each week. I may be a little bit late on the pickups because I do order most of my stuff online or have it shipped. So most of my videos come a few days late. But anyway, keep a lock to my channel. Hit the like button, thumbs up, subscribe. YouTube, thanks for watching. Have a great day.